All right, getting ready to start a project on the thing today. Number one, we're gonna remove this fuel filter and put, relocate it somewhere else. Well, actually change it to a new one, but put it in a different location. And we're gonna change these fuel lines from these rubber hoses to a better quality braided line here that they recommend for the Volkswagens. Uh, and then we are going to put a safety wire hooked to this to hold it on so it can't come off. Apparently the barb that goes in there is just a press fit and they're known to come out, pop out, and uh, that causes an engine fire. And I think this, this engine has maybe had a fire before because there's it's black and kind of burned up there. Maybe, maybe not. Could just be heat. But uh, I think I got all the tools I need here. Some safety wire, a few screwdrivers, hose cutters, wire cutters, some pliers, and just a general little tool kit there with them. These are the only metric tools I own. Um, so this shouldn't be too hard. I'm gonna start here and work backwards. I'll start at the carburetor and work my way down. Um, I have a feeling when I get to the bottom, when I disconnect that, I won't really be able to keep the fuel from siphoning out of the tank. So. Okay, so I'm under the rear of the Volkswagen thing here. And that's the fuel line coming out of the frame. And then uh, there's a little short pipe there. That's where I'm gonna put the fuel filter. That's probably where it belongs is my guess anyways. So I'll take this out and put a new fuel filter in here. And then uh, that goes back to metal when it goes through the exhaust. So it goes to metal when it comes through around there. Probably need to keep that up so it doesn't actually, I guess it's not the exhaust, that's the intake. Exhaust is on the bottom, but that still gets warm. So I'll move that up a little bit. Okay. Gonna remove this hose clamp. fix <laughs> with plastic safety wire <laughs> aka zip ties Okay, line number one is removed. I don't know how much of that you actually saw. Yeah, you probably could saw everything. Okay, I'm just gonna keep everything the same length here, so I'm just measuring with the previous one. Trim this up later, but for now I'm just throwing some safety wire over that hose clamp so it'll get squished down with that and then I'll be able to pull that on tight to the other side. 
figure it out later. But apparently that little barb likes to come out. That is not going to be as easy as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> if I take the distributor cap off, possibly that'll be a little easier. Easier to get with a screwdriver than a ratchet. Okay, got that back on. Sorry, my phone rang while I was recording that. I needed to take a phone call and the recording stopped it. I was trying, I finished it before I answered the phone, but I didn't realize that it stopped recording. Oh, I am now covered in gasoline. So this can get all eliminated here. See this or not? Jeez. Now I'm really covered in this. Okay, so let's go here.
Get my wrench in there. Yeah. I should tighten that up a little bit first so it was easier to get to. Zip tie that up there. Maybe I don't want it touching the coil though. Okay. Here's the new fuel filter I'm going to use. And if you ever had any question about which direction these go, think about it the fact that this clear tube is to show you how plugged up the filter is. So if the fuel was flowing through from this side into there, you couldn't see how dirty the filter was. But if the fuel was flowing through here, it would catch in all these little pleats and you would see how nasty it was. So this is the input side, that's the output side. Okay, so there's the end of the line that I'm going to disconnect. And then I'll remove it all the way to there with the new filter in the middle. But I'm going to have everything put together, the new stuff, before I pull those off. So I can slide the new hose on right away. Okay. So I've got a couple of pieces of hose and the filter here. So this is where it's going to... In. Okay, so that's all together now. Nice and tight. Now for the tricky parts. I 
think you're gonna be able to watch this. I don't have my little baby tripod with me. Let's see, let's see what this one does. There's a regular hose clamp over there. Got it on real far. I don't know if you can even see this over here or not either. It's really hard to see. What I did see is the dirt just came out of my eyes. Okay, 
New filter is installed. I gotta change those clamps. I don't like those little crimpy clamps that are on there. They don't fit very tight. So I'm gonna put regular hose clamps on it, but we should be good. Okay, go ahead. Give it a little throttle. Safety wire back around the clip on the alternator. There we go. And now that will never come off. Troy and his brother-in-law came out to grab some firewood today. So I'm adjusting these front brakes on this Volkswagen thing. Um, there's these little like dust shields inside. There's two little holes there. And inside those holes, there's little sprockets uh, or stars. I don't know what people call them. Um, and that's how you adjust your brakes. So you adjust them and they go opposite directions too. Um, you expand the shoes until they just start dra dragging on the drum and then back them off like a notch or two. Uh, you'll just barely hear them rubbing. You don't want too much tension on them. Uh, gotta keep jacking this up a little bit. So I'm going in here. If I tighten this down, turn that little sprocket thing, and there the, it grabs, and then just back it off a couple. Do that one for right now. Which is the other way. Okay, mash on the brake. Yep, yeah, it's good. Let go.